All right, I had a question over the weekend from Fritz Goldman about how we could use a phone as a PowerPoint clicker using TouchOSC, so I thought I would quickly demonstrate that. Um, so if you're not familiar with TouchOSC, it essentially allows you to create like your own layout, buttons, faders, all of it, and, uh, and just make your own you know, touchscreen control surface. So uh, the first thing we will need is the editor. You can download this for free on their website. Um, I've got it here and I've, I've created myself a really simple layout, not many buttons, just, just four buttons. And then the next thing we need to do is set each button needs its own OSC address. Um, and we have for the generic OSC device in central control, it has predefined addresses. Uh, I'll just pull up the blog post uh, where they are mentioned. So they're quite simple. Um, it's central control slash central control slash button fader or encoder uh, and then x slash and then x where x is is the number of the control and if I, if I just bring up the the mapping window you'll see we have 128 of each or 64 encoders but anyway once that is done um, once you so you come in here click the button and then turn off auto on the address and just use the ones I've, I've just pointed out on the blog that simple and then once you're done what you want to do is click sync and then if I can just let me try and show my phone if it will cooperate <laughs> yeah so then on the phone side if I come over here I all I need to do is layout add and then if I click this, yes, we'll overwrite it, that's fine. And then I've got that on my phone. The next thing to do is I need to set the uh, IP addresses. So to do that, we will, uh, the first one we need to do is if we come into, go back to my phone, if we come into here, OSC connections, uh, you can leave the ports as they are because they are already set correctly in the central control device by default. Uh, the host is your the IP address of your PC that is running central control. Uh, the local IP address, take note of this because we this is the one we type into central control. So if I come over here, I've typed in the one we just saw on the phone and that, that should all be connected now. So with that done, I will turn this on, it's already on. And then all we need to do is we can come over to the mapping window and start assigning some functions. So uh, for button one, which was the top button, which was next slide for me, I'm gonna click add. And then we'll do, you know, previous slide on button two. And then for reset, which we'll just use the reset slideshow command. And then I've already done button four, which is my play jingle button, which I'm gonna use uh, for, you know, dramatic effect at the end of my presentation. Anyway. That's done, so now I will bring up my PowerPoint. So if I come down here, you see I've, I've already prepared a PowerPoint presentation for us to look at. So now I've started this up. If I press next, I can literally advance, go back. That simple. And you'll also notice the buttons uh, we do get feedback from PowerPoint so when the when the LED the, when it's on uh, I can either advance or go backwards if it's off I can't so like it, you'll note now I can't previous button I can't press because we're at the very start of the presentation so yeah it's that simple um, if you've got any other questions or if anyone else what has you know questions about how to do something just ask in the group and I will I'll, I'll make some more videos happy to do it but anyway yeah That'll do for now, uh, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.